Hey guys, so when it comes to trading news, I use forexfactory.com in order to find all my news information. It's where I'm planning out and obviously paying attention to when news releases are. Now, just a couple of things that will help you guys navigating this site. If you are trading other currency pairs, by all means, you can leave all the currency pairs on there. But here's what I do personally. If I am trading currency pairs, I will leave those on there and I'll look at them just based on what the chart is showing me. Otherwise, what I do is I will actually uncheck all of these except USD and I will uncheck the yellow and uncheck the gray folders and then you can click apply filter. And what this is gonna do is it's only going to show you the orange and red folders. Orange folders are high impact news, red folder or orange folders are medium impact news. Red folders are high impact news. And these are the events that obviously move the market um, a lot. So especially when you're talking about NFP, CPI, PPI, you know, that's gonna be your news events that really move the market. And some people take off these days from trading altogether. Now, I don't think you need to do that. I know for a fact, and what I was taught was that news is the excuse. News is the excuse to move price where it was already going to go anyway. It just expedited the process. So, you know, you don't have to stay away from news. You don't have to avoid the news. Do I think that you should be mindful of the news? Yes. Do I think that there's times where you should sit out and let what let the news play out and then find a trade afterward? 100%. That's actually how I trade the news most of the time. So, for example, if I'm trading the indices, and I'm looking at, like, for example, on this upcoming week that I'm showing you guys in this video, we've got news on USD, high impact news and medium impact news at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. That's 10 a.m. Eastern. That's 30 minutes into market open. So I'm not going to be looking to take a trade before the news on that day because I am anticipating that the news is going to sweep liquidity. I believe that the news will release, liquidity will be swept, and if I was already in a trade, before that, the liquidity being swept could be my stop loss. So I'm just gonna sit back, I'm gonna let the news play out, and then I'm gonna look for a trade after that. And you know, when it comes to days like Wednesday, where news is before market open, I'm just gonna play it like normal. I'm gonna wait for, you know, the news will already be out. I'm gonna wait for market open like I always do. And then I'm gonna look for my trade from there. Uh, Thursday, News again, 30 minutes into market open, just gonna wait. I'm just gonna wait for the news to play out. There's no reason for me to be in before the news. It doesn't make any sense. Might as well just sit it out, wait till after, and then get into a trade. Uh, and then the same for Friday, again, wait for all that news to be done. But if there's days where there's a news event like in the afternoon, like 1 p.m., 2 p.m., I'll still trade during the a.m. session. Why not? I'm, I'm probably going to be out of my trade before that news even comes. So yeah, I, I trade on news. News is the excuse. Um, I don't look at news as a thing to stay away from in that sense. And I don't take days off just because of the news. Like if I take an NFP day off, it's because we had a good week leading up to NFP, which usually is the case. So sometimes I just, I'll just take Friday off because why not? Um, but otherwise guys, yeah, news is nothing to be afraid of. News is the excuse. Think of it like that. Cause it is, these markets are manipulated and news is just the disguise, just the mask that is put in play to make it seem like it's not manipulated, but obviously everybody knows, uh, that the markets are absolutely manipulated, but that was only the, that's the only pro tip I can give you guys with this would be just wait for that news to be done. Wait for that news event to be done. Wait five, 10 minutes after for your entry. Uh, and then, you know, look for your trade. But that is how you can play the news, guys. And again, forexfactory.com is what I use for all of my news data when it comes to trading.